Hallelujah, hallelujah, beloved, all over the globe, all over the continent, is your servant, bringing you Presbyterian Church of Ghana, hour of prayer and truth. Beloved, if you are hearing the sound of my voice, today is Tuesday, and it's April 7th, 2020, the year of our Lord, we are going forward and never backwards. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, I am sharing with you on the team, Christ shall set you free. Beloved, I am sharing with you today on the passages. John 8, 36, Luke chapter 8, 26 up to 39, and Psalm 22, the verse 19 up to 28. Beloved, if you are hearing the sound of my voice, the theme is Christ Jesus shall set you free. Beloved, John 8, 36 says that, so if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. And what does it mean to be free indeed? Beloved, to be free indeed means that regardless of, of the things that you are facing, regardless of the other shackles that we may have to carry or face in the course of life, beloved, Christ is about ready to save us completely. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, beloved, I came to announce to you that it doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter what you are facing. There was a man in Luke chapter 8, the verse 26 up to 39. This man was possessed with so many demons. And in the course of Christ's journey, in the course of Christ Jesus' journey, he had an encounter with this man. The man called the legend, the man who was possessed with demons. The very day that he had an encounter with the Lord, the Bible says that he had his total breakthrough. The first thing that I want you to put in your mind is that the man who was living in the cave, he was governed by the devil, not by his own world. The same thing applies to us. The man living in the cave, the man who was possessed with demons, was hopeless. No one could subdue him. There was no joy. He lived alone in caves. There was no peace. He hurt himself and walked aimlessly. Until this man had an encounter with the Lord, the demons were driven away spiritually. And mentally, his mind was fully restored. And physically, this man was dressed up. Emotionally, he was peacefully seated at Jesus Christ's feet. And then existentially, this man received a new life. He received a new life of divine purpose. That is, he started also evangelizing, announcing Christ. He started becoming a disciple. Beloved, I came to announce to you that you and I are like and we're like that man. We are still facing trials and troubles, challenges here and there. We need Jesus to come in. Beloved, I have this question for you. Are you in any form of bondage such as sin, sickness, fear, demonic attacks, bad dreams? Is COVID-19, coronavirus tormenting you? Causing fear and panic? Beloved, Jesus is the only hope for your freedom. Jesus is the only one who can set you free. Beloved, do you know that Jesus is the only person who can save you? And do you know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? If your response is no, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day that you have to reconcile with the Lord. Beloved, if you are hearing the sound of my voice, Any evil spirit has no right of ownership over a Christian. And therefore, the owner or his delegated authority can command them to leave. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, let us rely on the authority of Christ and his word. And not allow evil spirit to control or influence us. They have no rightful place in the life of the believer or in the ministry of Christ. 
Beloved, if you are hearing the sound of my voice, let us pray the prayer that the psalmist prayed in Psalm 22, 1928. The psalmist appealed to God not to be far from him and also come to his aid quickly to deliver him from all forms of harm and acknowledge God's deliverance in the past. The psalmist recalled God's past answers to his prayers and asked for relief in his present distress. Beloved, if you are hearing the sound of my voice, God delivers us from both present and future troubles. If you are hearing the sound of my voice today, it doesn't matter any present and future trouble. It doesn't matter. I see deliverance coming your way. I see God setting you free right now. Beloved, he says that if the Son sets you free, he shall be free indeed. It doesn't matter whatever you are going through. I pray that may the power of God cease any COVID-19, any coronavirus. Whatever sin that we have committed, be it individual sin, national sin, presidential sin, family sin, ministerial sin, church sin, we are pleading the blood of Jesus Christ today that may the Lord forgive us. Lord, forgive us and heal your land. Lord, as I lift up prayer, Lord, forgive us. And Lord, let this COVID-19 pass by. Lord, people are scared. People are terrified. Father, we plead the blood that Lord forgive us. Lord, whatever sin that we have committed, Lord forgive us. Lord, forgive us of all our sins. And Lord, heal our land. Heal our families. And Lord, heal our friends of God in the name of Jesus. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, don't ever live in the bondage of sin. Christ has set you free. Accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. If you don't know Jesus Christ, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, accept him today. Attend the Bible Believing Church. I invite you to attend Presbyterian Church of Ghana, wherever church, wherever church that believe in the barrier, the birth, and then the resurrection of Christ Jesus. Attend that church, and your life will never be the same. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may He lift up His countenance over your life. You will hear same time the sound of my voice next week by this side. The theme is. Christ shall set you free. He did for the psalmist. He did for the legend. Now it is your turn. Christ has indeed set you free. Go and sin no more. Go and announce that his coming is at hand. Prepare for him. Stay holy for him. Live a righteous life for him. May the Lord bless you. Shalom. Bye-bye.